All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to today's stream. It feels like it's been forever. And by five forever, I mean a week. Because I couldn't stream on Saturday. But I'm glad to be back today. There, there was some very exciting and also confusing times with the poll last week. And so I, I ended up playing, uh, what's it called, um, Dragon Quest. And now... Ah, it's not letting me do anything. Uh-oh. Ah! It's, oh, that's why. It's because it's ready to pick. Um, so, uh, as seemingly always, the, the awesomeness of Stardew Valley was a very close second. And there was, there was some weird weirdness at the end when I called the, the poll done, but then was it really done? Who knows? Maybe possibly. It is very complicated. But suffice it to say, I'm playing Stardew Valley now, and it's awesome. And y'all should be jealous. Um, but more importantly, I hope that you're all doing well. And incidentally, in Stardew Valley here, I've got Merthewin living here in, in house. I don't know if she'll be able to join, but that's, that's Merthewin's house right there. Uh, but this is my farm. I'm in the, uh, I'm actually still in my first year of my first playthrough, believe it or not. Um, I'm, I'm kind of sad that way because I just haven't finished. Um, I should have finished a long time ago. But I, I just haven't had time yet, unfortunately, because I've been working so much. But I do really, really love this little game. I, I always have a blast when I play it. Oh, why am I trying to sell mayonnaise? Or um, make mayonnaise into mayonnaise? That doesn't make sense. But yay, little game! And incidentally, I hope everybody had a good week while I was away doing all of my random stuffs. It's always a joy of various sorts. Uh, let's see what do I want to store. I'll store this. I'm thinking that today I'm going to go and do more mining stuff of all different sorts. So, incidentally, one thing that I always like to discuss with this game, um, just to give you guys a, a good idea of, of it, is um, this is sort of a cross between Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. You've got both ideas of um, like working through and um, maintaining your farm, doing the animal husbandry stuff, and also talking with the townsfolk and getting like in with them quote unquote so it's really cool it's a uh, it's a really neat little game i have had an absolute blast playing it it is truly fun um and surprisingly deep it's a it's one of these games that was made by a single developer and that's the entire team who worked on it it's really impressive i think it's impressive anyway ah oh. It's not time yet. I want to head over to the to the desert because that's where the good stuff is. It's always fun. I guess I can check on some of my other stuff real quick. One cool thing in this game, I, I've got my greenhouse all set up here. Um, some of the other interesting things, we've got the community center, which is like sort of the big overarching plot. Um, which I've already completed at this point, but effectively the idea is that, you know, it's it's very much like an 80s um, feel-good movie trope type thing where it's like, oh, you know, we have to save the community center, they're going to tear it down type of thing because there there's the big evil um, corporation coming in trying to take it over type of thing and it's up to us to save it. Or you can join the big evil corporation instead. I chose to save the um, save the people, or save the uh, save the center myself. Oh, here we are! It's time. Oh man, I'm hungry. Is anybody else hungry? I'm like super hungry. It, it kind of sucks. I had I had a really rough couple of weeks at work 
Um, today was no different. We've got a lot of people traveling for conferences and stuff, so it's been really brutal. Um, and I'm having to deal with a lot of blatant and terrible stupidity, honestly. Um, so I've been kind of frustrated with that. And on top of that, just working a whole bunch of overtime as well. What's happening? That was weird. It suddenly didn't recognize my controller and then it recognized it again. It's very weird. Look at all that gold. So this is the um, this is the skull cavern is what it's actually referred to in the game and effectively the idea is that the there are two major locations where you can do this there are the mines and then the skull caverns here and you go in and you just sort of dig and dig and dig this is a great way to make money in the game um, you can oh jeez I'm getting really good luck on this these are some pretty amazing things to find. Um, what was I saying? So, um, the, the, one of the main ways that you can make money is by mining. You find ore and gems and all that, all that kind of stuff. And when you sell it, then you can make a lot of money. Um, between that and fishing are some of the, uh, some of the best ways to make money. Um, you've got RPG elements in this game, but, um, the thing that I really love about it is that it's honestly just very, very laid back. It's a really relaxing, relaxable game. Um, there's not a lot of pressure in it to do stuff and all that kind of thing. So I just really love it. It's a nice little game. Hey, look, Marathawin's here too. Hi, Marathawin. Oh, finally. So I, I figured out how to use these. Last day of the season. Check the bush above the playground. Okay. Um, apparently, the, these little notes are a new thing that was added in a relatively recent update. And last time I played, what is this? Last time I played, I believe it was Merthwin actually who told me how to start finding them. But it, it took me like the entire stream to figure out how to actually use them because they take up uh, they they take up space in your inventory. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what to do with them. It was really annoying. But then I finally figured it out. But look, speaking of which, it's Merthwin and Tiny Human. Hello to both of you. Hope that you are doing well. Let me move some of my stuff around here. Have some good things by looking in garbage cans. What? What? Why am I gonna go trash digging? I ain't, I ain't like that, homie. <laughs> it's really funny because I, I read on the um, on the wiki page for this game is that you can definitely go and look for trash cans or look through trash cans. The problem is if people see you, then they um, then they the, you lose a lot of likability with that person. And they're basically just like, ew, you're disgusting. That's gross. Why would you do that? I just find it kind of hilarious that that happens. Fine. Miner's treats. Nice. You can also just buy miner's treats. I was so excited when I found out that you could buy miner's treats. So li like in many, many games, um, particularly RPGs, when you eat food in this game, some of the foods have special effects. One of them being the miner's treats, the little lollipop that I ate earlier. And it gives you cool stuff. Ah! Be like a raccoon and go at night. I'm, I guess that works. Ah, see, I could have named my character Rocket and then just behaved like a raccoon the whole time. That would have been fun. But yeah, you can buy miner's treats. You can also buy bombs. It's tremendously helpful for mining. Assuming that you get good stuff. Or reasonably good. I got really lucky in the first few levels of this. Uh, it's kind of interesting because the Skull Caverns, at least from what I can tell, have no... Um, 
they have no bottom. They have no limit to how far down you can go. Um, unlike the, the regular mines in the, um, in the main portion of the game. So they are unusual in that sense, but it's really cool. Um, because it means like how far can you go and of course as you go deeper it becomes more and more likely that you'll find better stuff um, I got ridiculously lucky in those first few levels when I found that massive pile of the the fancy looking rocks like those are really really rare or they're supposed to be really rare I got crazy lucky on my RNG roll there it's nice because after I after I eat the spicy eel I can move faster than these guys. Normally you can't. Mmm, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Betcha, 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 betcha. <gasps> Who was that? Somebody did a thing. Oh, it was Rev. Rev subscribed. Hooray! Thank you, Rev. Supporting a starving chemist for fun. To be fair, I am not a chemist, sir. I am not a chemist. I do not represent that remark. I refuse to acknowledge it, but hello anyway. It's always great to have you, Rev. And thank you for subscribing or maintaining your subscription to my craziness that is also known as my stream. Mushroom! Go away. Ouch. I remember at one point when I was streaming this game, my, my sound cut out. And the problem is with those serpent things, they sort of announce themselves with a, a very distinct sound. <laughs> so I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell when they were showing up. And the problem is if you don't know they're coming, it's really difficult to dodge them. So like one's on the way now, but it doesn't matter. Oh, the mummies! Are you my mummy? No, we, we won't be doing that today because it's very scary. I'm not about those episodes of The Doctor. Uh, no, my, my degree is actually in um, cell and molecular biology, technically. Like, if you want to be all technical about it. My, my first degree, my undergraduate degree, is in just like a, a really general, like, pre-med thing called biomedical sciences. Um, but yeah, my, my, my main one, my graduate degree, is in um, uh, molecular biology. Or at least that's what I prefer it to be. Technically, it's cell biology as well. Level 100 in the Skull Cavern! Wait, what? So there's a thing that I can do at level 100? What the fudge? Marathon, why didn't you tell me about this? Like, you have one job. It's to tell me all the cool stuff in this game. Starving biologist. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> the biggest problem now is that I'm not even working as a biologist anymore. I'm working as a data scientist. So, it's just... It's very sad, honestly. I'm, I'm not a fan of that fact. Mostly because people who do the type of work I do but at like an industry level make like sick fat amounts of money and I make I, I mean I I can barely afford peanuts like me I love peanuts like you know how people say oh I'm paid in peanuts like I, I'm not even paid in peanuts I would love to be able to get some peanuts Ah, uh, shoot. What do I get rid of? I guess I can get rid of the slime things. Okay. Secret in a dark tunnel. This mysterious Kree guy is really weird. I have another, um, I have another quest from him. That's about bringing, um, I believe it was a Nautilus shell, to like a, a bus station or something. Not the bus station, the train station, I believe. It's just really weird stuff. I don't know 
what it does, or what the end goal of the thing is. I'm sure it's something pretty cool. Hid something behind the community center. Oh, that's fun. I need to make up my mind about my career. Yeah, I mean, basically I just tell people that I science, and that sort of covers all the bases. Ho! Oh, look at all them ghosts! Back off. The Danny Buster! Well, that implies that I bust Danny's. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Danny the Buster? That just sounds inappropriate. I don't know what I am, you guys. I have no identity. Beyond the fact that I'm a weird streamer guy. Is that an official identity? Can I claim that? Alright, let's roll. Ow! Oh, come on! Stupid little serpent bro. Serpent bro is not behaving like a bro should. Oh, yeah. Don't don't worry, Rev. I fully intend on becoming a corporate sellout. The problem is finding a job that enables me to be a corporate sellout. That's the issue. <laughs> like, once I find one, then yes, I want to do it. At the same time, like, I, I don't want to be that guy, quote-unquote. Um, you guys can't see me, but I did air quotes. Um, I don't want to be the guy who sort of like leaves my projects and stuff high and dry because I, I still do have important projects that I'm working on with my current boss is. Um, and so I, I don't want to just be like, hey, got job, bye. Um, but yeah, at the, at the same time, I, I do want to move on with, with my career and do something else. But that is neither here nor there. need to take out all of the bad guys here. It's ridiculous. It's still relatively early in the day, at least. In the game, I should say. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, I know. It. <gasps> what? A rain totem? Why do I want to make it rain? What am I, some weirdo in the club? I ain't going to make it rain. I have literally never seen anything like that in this. Like, in the Skull Caverns, I've never seen anything like that. The regular mines have a ton of those. Where you just have, like, random points where you... Um, where you're able to gather new things. Uh, what can I get rid of? Get rid of quartz. Oh, fun! Special orders. Nice. Huh. <laughs> Pumpkin pie with extra whipped cream. Nice. Fish taco. So that's just giving me people's favorite gifts. Because you can always give people gifts in this. Dang, I'm, I'm going... I'm, I'm getting really lucky on this run here. Getting a lot of pretty good stuff. Not to mention being able to find the um, the shafts that I can jump down, as opposed to always having to find ladders, is very helpful. Darn right, Danny got to eat. Y'all don't know how expensive kale is. Oh yeah, see? Rev agrees. Kale ain't free. Kale doesn't grow on trees. For anybody wondering, it doesn't. It grows in the ground. But it don't grow on trees! So, ha! All of you haters. Speaking of science? I love speaking of science. What else about science? Ooh, ladder. I want to see if I can at least make it to 50. 
after I get these emeralds. Or emerald. No! Ha! Well, that's nice. Okay, so I made it to 50. Woohoo! Um, I genuinely don't think I've ever been this far in it. I, I really don't think I have. The thing is, like I said, it doesn't really matter. There's not any hallmarks in the Skull Caverns. It's just sort of you make it as far as you make it before you have to go home. And unfortunately, it's time to go home. Hey, wow. Like I said, I'm getting like ridiculously lucky on some of these, which sucks because I I made it really far down. That was really good. It was a very, very good run through the Skull Caverns there. And I didn't die! Not that I ever die. I mean, it's just sometimes my game resets randomly. It's not my fault. I can't be held responsible. Something popped up on your game? The, the thing is loading. It's very slow. Scientists and magicians often don't get along. Most scientists, I mean, I can't stand the thought of a mage dabbling in their precious research. I would not mind having a magician help me out with some of my stuff. I mean, if they, if they can just be like, yo, boom, your stuff is done, then I would be like, thank you, almighty magician. I very much appreciate it. Ha! See, I told you it's not from trees. Kale don't grow on trees, y'all. It's true. It's confirmed. Science says so. Queen of Souse! I don't care. I want the Queen of Souse. Poppy seed muffins! <gasps> you guys, I learned how to make a poppy seed muffin. Fishing contest! You guys, there's a fishing contest tomorrow. Why didn't anybody tell me? Let's go check my calendar, because I'm one of those cool people who has a calendar. Oh, it's Caroline's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Pam found a battery in a drawer. Well, thank you. Snowmen ice sculptures in an ice fishing competition. Nice. I'm totes going to join that. I'm the one who said that it doesn't grow on trees. I was like, kale don't grow on trees. It grows in the ground. I am literally the one who said that. Y'all making it seem like I don't science when I totes do. Like, er a day. I also shuffle, but... You don't hear me bragging about that. Just saying. Uh, let's see. Coal. I vote that Rev gets a lump of coal for Christmas. Marathon will too because she was judging my science skills. I don't approve that. Ah, can't hit the worms. <laughs> oh, Rev, you're terrible. Excuse me, chickens. I still need to find a dinosaur. I haven't found one. Apparently, the, you can get a dinosaur in this game. I'm very sad that I don't have one yet. I feel like the game universe just, like, doesn't care about me. It doesn't want me to be happy, so it's not giving me a dinosaur. No, I do data science. We do like algorithm generation and um, um, 
Oh, what's the easiest way to describe it? We do lots of algorithm generation. We also do lots of um, we also do lots of things related to uh, data integration, which is very science heavy in terms of what are we allowed to integrate with what else and why. Blah 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 blah. So I I honestly do like it. It's it's not easy and it's not fun. Um, it's particularly not fun, but <clears throat> I do generally enjoy it, at least. All right, Sunday. That means that the traveling cart is here. And it's Caroline's birthday. I wonder if they have fish tacos over here. What's up, mysterious lady? Hot pepper? You just have like the weirdest stuff available, don't you? You have coffee beans again. I finally found coffee beans though, so I'm excited. Oh my god, it's Tommy Timmy Tammy. What was the other name? Tommy Timmy. Mostly Tommy. Because I appreciate your individual identity and I accept it. I accept you for who you are, Tommy. But it's great to see you. It's been a while. You missed everybody mocking me for being a scientist. It was very rude. I do not approve. But everybody was doing it anyway. Because they're all rude. In the words of Rihanna, they're a bunch of rude boys. I need to take a look at some of the notes that I got too. Because I got some really weird ones. That have a lot of different meanings. So there was one that said, look behind the community center. So let me do that. So if you remember, I mentioned the community center, it's the, the thing that you can go to and do all sorts of stuff. Um, I don't see anything behind the community center. I believe that was a lie. Maybe I already found it or something. Accidentally. Let me see who all is here. Who do we have? Avocado Bado. Tommy, Commander Root. Electrical longboard. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Don't don't use an electric longboard, anybody. And of course Marathwin and Rev, the weirdos. The weirdos I care about, though, okay? So it's fine. You think Caroline likes spicy eel? Well, she said she loves it, so that's good. Oh, Timmy Tommy Tony! That's what it was. Woo! Big papers! Yeah, I mean, the semester's winding down for everybody. It's it's about that time. You know, people are finishing up, exam week coming up, depending on what level of schooling people are at. But yeah, it's very exciting. It's a good time to have random stuff going on. I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna process at least some of these. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff. But yeah, I mean, this is this is about the size of Stardew Valley here. It's just, it's so much fun. Like, you, you wouldn't expect it, um, see, just seeing it, like, on the Steam page or whatever. But it's really a genuine blast. It's a really cool little game. I'm going to sit here playing. And... Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, Tommy. I totes could have helped you. I'm just saying. I know chemistry stuff. I'm good at chemistry. But yeah, I'm I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope that it's I hope it's not too big of a deal. I know sometimes it can be a bigger deal than others. But yeah, that's that's rough, man. I'm just seeing if there's anything that I can um that I can donate to the museum right now. I don't think there is. 
Nope. So I can just sell these off real quick. Okay, so I remember there was... There was a note. Where are my notes? There they are. So see, these are like the, se the super secret notes, right? And so they have like all sorts of random information of various sorts. Um, hmm. So this is the one I was looking for because I think I can do this. And then these are just like random locations or something. Mermaid show, I have no idea what that is. I hid something behind the community center. I just looked and I didn't see anything. Um, so I need to try to remember that one. Look at garbage can. Ugh. Okay. Huh. I did this. I brought the maple syrup. It was a bear. <laughs> there was like a friendly bear who wanted some maple syrup. And I was like, okay, random bear. Good to know you. You are strange. Oh, that's rough, man. Yeah, having a bad teacher is always the worst. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, my, uh, my sister is having somewhat similar problems. Um, again, very, very good. Knows everything, but... Sorry about that. Somebody dropped something. Okay, let me see if I can do this. So it's uh, left, up, right, up. Because I think this is it. So it's left, up, right, up. Am I supposed to just go? Okay, I'll just think that I go up to there. Right, up. Right up, right down, left down. Huh. Right down, left down. Okay. Right down, left down left down check oh cool I got a thing a solid gold Lewis I imagine that's something I can put in my house for some reason because why not I guess I can't do up, down, up, down, B, A, B, A, select, start. This isn't a Konami game. Although, frankly, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a code that was actually written in here. Let's see here. Up, down, up, down, B, A. Whoops. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that. Like the these bushes right here is one of the um one of the things. It's Elliot. Elliot, eat fruit. I should have given him the solid gold Lewis. I don't know if he would have liked it. I like to think he would have. Um, yeah. So we can. Um, nobody said anything, but. We can explore the town a little bit. This is the beach. Obviously, it is winter time. The game goes through um, spring, summer, fall, winter. And each one is 28 days, just to keep it simple. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is the beach. You unlock this area that I'm walking in right now later on. You have to build up this bridge here. Um, and, yeah, this is where Elliot lives in his little cabin on the beach thing. And then... Um, yeah, so we've got the little river here. There's, you can go fishing, of course. 
lots of fishing to do so that you can increase your skills. Uh, let's see, what is this? What's ref posting? Oh, ha ha. Just because you tempura batter something doesn't mean that it wasn't edible before Rev. Although I'm sure that tempura battered and fried, um, what's it called, is delicious. So see, this is the big evil corporation that was big and evil and corporation-y. Um, the, the Joja Mart. So after you complete the, um, the quest to um, fix up the community center, the... The Jojo March shuts down. So it's kind of cool. And that, that's like the, the brief story, essentially. I mean, I'll be the first to admit, I love getting me some tempura fried broccoli. Like, there's a really good buffet that I go to. It's a really awesome sushi buffet. And they have some really good tempura. I am, like, all about it. I'm just saying. So Timmy Tommy Tony said that if I put the statue here in the middle then or somewhere then I get money. Where you at, Lewis? He might be a, he might be getting drunk. Nope, not yet. Too early. I can still give fruit to everybody. The nice thing is that most people like fruit in this game. So if you have fruit trees available, then it gives you nice gifts to give. You can give people gifts once a week. The problem is that if you're married, like I am, um, in the game, then if you give a gift to an eligible bachelor or bachelorette, depending on the, the gender that you married, they'll get upset if you give gifts to people of the same gender who are eligible. Oh, I have to wait the night. Well, that's fine. Um, so let's continue our exploration then. At least briefly. <laughs> don't get married um yeah i i would imagine that it probably works the same general way in real life what with the whole your spouse getting mad at you thing so yeah no no worries i'm just saying that mechanically in the game it does exist it is a thing that happens so for those of you who are planning on playing it and and being all like that oh she loves them that's nice The, I, I believe that, Rev. I mean, I may not be married myself, but I do have a girlfriend, and I imagine if I started giving away random gifts to people, then she would not be pleased. I mean, she might be, but I doubt it. I don't know. This is the guy who sells bombs. See, look, bombs. And minor streets. It's nice because... Once you reach sort of this level in the game and you're basically making money hand over fist, then like you can buy whatever you want whenever you want. It's awesome. Oh, night night to TH. Uh, but yeah, so this is like the mountainous area up here with the mountain river. That little tent is where Lewis lives. He is the local vagabond and kind of wackadoodle dude. This is the Adventurer's Guild. A dude with an eye patch lives there. He's crazy. This is the quarry. This is something that you actually have to unlock. Um, it, it, it's part of the... Um, it, it's part of the quest for the... Um, uh, for the community center. Um, the thing is that these rocks work just like regular rocks, except the problem is now when I use the bombs, then it blows up like everything that they contain, unfortunately but they respawn every night or at least some of them respawn essentially so i just want to clear them out a little bit i don't know what that is any any guesses as to what that is 
Like I know what the there's like bubbles, and the bubbles mean that you essentially get a bite immediately, um, as soon as you cast. But I don't know what those weird little wavy things were. I I had not seen those before, or at least I don't remember seeing them. Ancient seed, nice. That means that I can use my ancient seed recipe. Dun, da, da, da. This is something that's good to put in the greenhouse. It takes a really long time to grow. You guys, I'm hungry. Is it time to eat yet? Unfortunately, I know the answer, and it is no. It is not time to eat yet, because after this, I actually have to work. I'm not going to get to eat until pretty late tonight, but that's okay. I get to stream, and y'all are cool. Oh, speaking of which, I do apologize in advance, but unfortunately, next Monday, I will not be able to stream because I'm going to be out of town. So just FYI... That's just how it is. Oh, you got a summer year one? Nice. So, I'm searching. I don't see anything. Like, I saw the little thing for the bushes. Where'd it go? It's like a little... this thing. Oh, that's why. It's like 1240. And I need the big bush. Ah! <laughs> that was inappropriate, Mayor. Did y'all see him being inappropriate? Yeah, no noms for Danny. At least not for a while. <laughs> Dang it, Rev! Stop marking my permanent record! I don't mean to. I'm gonna be sciencing. I'm gonna be at a conference. I'm gonna be at a conference up north. Don't waste away. I'm not gonna waste away. Don't worry. I have plenty of fat. So, no worries there. I'm, I'm like a fatty fat McFatterton. It's all good, homies. I, I'm not going anywhere. I could live for days on myself. It's like that age-old question, if you were a hot dog on the moon, would you eat yourself? See, these are the questions that people are too scared to ask nowadays with all of our political correctness and whatnots. Conference schmonfrens. It's important! It's one of the big things for my project. Why haven't you seen your parents, homie? Go visit your parents. Visit your familia. What is this? Escargo? I want to make escargo. Ew. More like escarg you. <laughs> Ha, ha. No? <laughs> Take this money and never speak of my project again. How am I a size double zero? That's no. I I am not an anorexic Victoria's Secret model. I am not a size double zero. I can assure you that. I I don't know what I don't know what my equivalent female size is, but I know I'm not a zero. You double zeros together. <laughs> my inventory's full full of lame stuff. Let me see what can 
Okay, so. I'm gonna sell my void mayonnaise. That stuff is weird. It freaks me out. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop. Boom, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lolly. Nobody really? Y'all are lame. I don't care if you all don't have microphones, and therefore I wouldn't be able to hear you anyway. Doesn't matter. I expect full cooperation when singing the lollipop song. Oh, nice. Endless money trick? That's hilarious. If you bomb the chicken coop? I honestly don't know what happens. I know, like, if you bomb your land, then you can, like, knock over trees and stuff. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to use that. I... Dang it. I didn't want to use a rain totem. I don't need it to rain. Stupid game. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of funny when you um like when you bomb your own land and like you see all your buildings collapse and stuff like that. Well, it makes me laugh, but I'm kind of weird. So, you know, take it for what you will. Now, that's a cool little infinite money trick. My infinite money trick is that I just sort of stand around and I I just keep growing stuff constantly. Because I'm super cool like that, and y'all jealous. Ch -ch 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 cherry bomb! Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. My little greenhouse. I just find it hilarious that you can, like, plant your trees on what appears to be the walking area of the greenhouse. No! Oh, phew. I almost lost an apricot there. Did you guys see that? Although, to be fair, Rev, that sounds like more of a philosophical question. Like, what happens when you bomb the chicken coop? I mean, what even is the chicken coop, Rev? Are we the chicken coop? Oh, that's a cool statue. Sup, homie? Look at Robin making a little castle. I don't know what this little thing is, but it's adorable. Pizza festival. He pelted me with his note. That's hilarious. What's up, honey, sweetie baby? It's okay. You're still my honey, sweetie baby. Make a goofy one. Eh, he likes Emily. It's adorable. You're not going to win. I'm going to win because I am amazing. We're not talking about bombing chickens. We're talking about bombing chicken coops, okay? There's a huge difference, Marathawin. Huge difference. What's up, Mayor? Yep, let's do this. I'm gonna rock this. Everybody's gonna be super jelly. I'm gonna get so many friends. <laughs> right? This is how you make friends. All right, here we go. Really? It seems unfair.
The chicken's got the communist manifest. <laughs> I mean, what? Well, so we're saying that this is Animal Farm, but it's with chickens instead of pigs? Is that what we're doing? You know? Y'all see that literary reference? Yeah? See, this is a very smart stream. So for anybody who wants that kind of smart, intelligent stream knowledge and literature stuff, then, you know, here you go. It's like all up on my channel because that's how I do. I mean, that's the classic thing to think about. Like, if you think about animals getting the Communist Manifesto, that's like, that's Animal Farm. That's basically what happened. And then the pigs became so human-like that the animals couldn't tell them apart. Oh, sorry, spoilers. I apologize. I don't know how many fish I need to catch. I'm just like catching all the fish because I'm a boss. I'm sure that there's like some set amount where like if you get this many, then you'll win no matter what. I'm just gonna get as many as I can. Stupid fish, doesn't even swim. That reminds me, my fish tank was doing something funny. Um, so my anemone for my clownfish, um, it, at first I thought it actually split, but um, it turns out that it just buried itself in the sand, which was kind of hilarious. I thought it was funny. Seven big slimy fish. Ian M. Banks's The Culture. I actually haven't read that. So I couldn't say. I've not read much Banks, unfortunately. What do you mean you can't believe you won? I was amazing. I believe I won. <gasps> Diamond. You guys, I got that bling bling. I also made delicious pomegranate jelly. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. Eh. I still have stuff I need to donate to, man. Incidentally, if anyone's curious, all of, all of these little plants right here, these are trees that I'm growing so that I can have uh, maple trees, oak trees, and, um, oh god, what's the other one? It's maple, oak, and pine. That's what it is. So you see how I have these little taps like this? I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to have, like, basically an orchard. Um, well, not really an orchard, but just have, like, five of all three types. So that way, whenever I need them, essentially, I'll have them available. Or at least I'll be able to grow them much faster. But for now, let me see, what's the crystallarium cost? These are really cool because it allows you to make the gems. That's what these three little things are and what I've been collecting random gems from. I think it's night-night time. Money, money, money. Money. And now it's raining because I use the... Oh, don't use the bomb. Yeah, no, that's not smart, Danny. Don't be that guy. It's raining because I use the stupid rain totem. Bye, sweetums. It's not supposed to rain in the winter. It doesn't happen. It 
So incidentally, I'm not um, I'm not gonna actually play through this day because I I unfortunately have to get going. I need to get started on the rest of my work. So what we'll do instead is we'll just bomb a bunch of stuff because it's not gonna save. Bomb the farm! Bomb the farm! <laughs> uh, it is clearly not raining tacos, unfortunately. <laughs> it's okay, my stone paths are fine. I wonder if I can destroy the buildings. I don't think you can. You can still be damaged. Doesn't look like buildings are destroyable. Alright, take care, Tommy. Enjoy your tortellini. I'm jealous. Alright, let's do this. Aw, oh, come on. I'm trying to knock the trees down. There they go. <laughs> Take that, stupid trees. That's what you get for growing. I think you're so cool. I can't start a forest fire, Rev. I mean, it's raining. This is completely safe. Grandpa's Shrine. I remember seeing something about how I have to come there like at the beginning of my second year. But again, this is literally still my first playthrough of the game, so I have no idea what that does. All right, one more in the corner. Oh man, look at all these trees. It's unfortunate that the big trees require so many bombs. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for me. I got to get going, like I said. It's unfortunately time for me to head back to work at this point. But you all take care of yourselves. Thanks so much, as always, for dropping in. Um, like I said, next Monday I will be out of town, so I won't be able to join in. On Saturday, I should be okay to, but I might not be because I might be going in, uh, going to like an art festival thing um, to get cultured up and whatnots. Um, so just keep an eye on the Facebooks and the Twitters. Um, to see whether or not I'll, I'll be online because I'll let everybody know that way. And um, regardless, I hope everybody has an awesome week and good times. And um, take care. Don't work too hard. Hey, a choo-choo train. Um, but yeah, hope that everybody has fun. And I will, I will hopefully see you on Saturday. But if not, then like basically a week from this coming Saturday, essentially. Ugh, it's going to be a busy holiday season for me. Make sure you watch the Facebooks and the Twitters. But bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.